In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to install the ASA adapter on your Titman M4 carbine. First, going to need an ASA adapter. Some of the tools that you're going to need: 764 Allen wrench, 316 Allen wrench. And then you're also going to need two parts from your accessory bag: the locking tab and then your uh, input plug. Now we're first going to start off, just to make this a little bit easier, we're going to remove our upper receiver assembly so we can uh, gain access to our puncture valve assembly because we're going to need to remove that first. So we're first going to go ahead and start off by pushing out our takedown pin. And go ahead and remove the upper receiver. Set that off to the side. You can see here we have our puncture valve assembly and uh, our input fitting. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, rotate the receiver and you can see that we have our uh, locking tab set screw here. So we're first going to start off by removing that. Go ahead and set that off to the side. And then from there you should be able to hold the receiver in one hand and with your free hand just go ahead and grab from the bottom of the puncture valve and everything should slide right out of the top of the receiver. Okay, So we'll go ahead we'll set our lower receiver off to the side and you'll see that we have our input fitting. We'll go ahead and remove the input fitting, set that down and then our puncture valve assembly we're going to just totally set that off to the side. From here, you have your input fitting and uh, your fitting plug. The fitting plug has an O-ring on one side of it. That O-ring needs to go inside the input fitting. okay? And then the portion without the O-ring will then be inserted into the locking tab. okay? And go ahead and grab our lower receiver and then you'll see how that just kind of slides right in there. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Slide that in. Just go ahead and kind of give it a little push. Make sure that it's firmly seated. And then from there we're going to go ahead and reinsert our locking tab set screw. Just go ahead and make sure it's nice and snug. You don't want to wrench on it too hard. Uh, because it's obviously threading into aluminum and you could easily pull out those threads. And that's how you install the uh, input fitting. Go ahead and reinstall our upper receiver assembly. Just go ahead and put that on. And go ahead and push those pins back into place. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the lower gas line assembly. Okay, With your 3 16 Allen wrench, you're going to go ahead and loosen the bolt on the bottom of the grip there. And then from there, you should be able to pull out the lower gas line assembly. Make sure that bolt's all the way unthreaded there. Okay. Now with our lower gas line assembly out, you can go ahead and remove your bolt. Set that lower gas line assembly off to the side. With our ASA, we're going to go ahead and slide that into place. Go ahead and put your bolt back in. And then just go ahead and tighten that down. And that is how you install the ASA adapter on the Titman M4 carbine. 